Hello, this is Ashen Ishanka from udem.com. In this course, I'm going to teach you how to create an Android app that playing a YouTube video. So let's get started. Open your Android Studio and start a new Android Studio project. And here you can give your application name. I'm going to give name as YouTube video and company domain. You can use com and your name maybe. I'm going to use my name Shinishanka and dot YouTube video. I'm going to use this company domain as my package name too. Also, your project location is important. Choose your favorite location maybe your desktop and you have to add a new folder with your application name or you can choose your already created folder youtube video okay now let's open this okay now our project location is desktop slash youtube video so we do not need to select these items include c support include kotlin support course we are doing this application with java programming so let's next and api 15 okay now there is activities we can select empty activity here to add the button and call as play video like that next activity name is main activity now let's finish if you're new to android studio you can learn these tips or you can skip permanently by unchecking this and close this we can skip this forever now this is our java class and this is our layout file Location is for Java classes. This Java folder and your package inside your package, you can see this class. And for layout, res layout, this is our layout file. So, let me clear this text view and add the button to introduce play button. First, I'm going to change the layout type as relative layout now let's add the button here i'm going to use wrap content as width and height as wrap content 2 and text for the button is i'm going to use play video okay now I'm going to move this button to center. To do that, we can drag and drop here, or we can use this code Android corner layout underscore center in parent equals inside double quotation is true. Okay. Now we have to add some external library from Google. Open your browser. And search for the YouTube player API now you can download this file by visiting here developers.google.com slash YouTube slash Android slash player and here is the download button click it and here is the download file when you download that open the zip and this is our java file okay copy it and in android studio select the project here extend it and extend the app folder and paste that to your libs folder libs okay now 
right click app folder and click the open module settings here is dependencies click it and click the plus button select jar dependency here and go to your project location my project location is desktop youtube video and inside your project location open your app folder and lives folder select your youtube android player api.jar click open now click ok now we have to create a click event listener for this button to open video player activity finally we have to give some ID to this button Android colon ID equals add plus ID slash button play activity so this is my ID go to your Java class create a new variable for the button button start button right that's my variable name now we have to initialize that start button equals bracket here inside bracket button find view by id r dot id dot button play activities my buttons id okay now on click listener for that button start button dot set on click listener you can get suggest by android studio inside bracket new on click listener now we have to create a new activity for our youtube video player new activity empty activity i'm going to give activity name as video player and finish now go back to your main activity now inside this click event listener start a new activity start activity and bracket open close semicolon inside bracket new intent main activity dot this now video player dot class okay now let's design the video player activity press layout activity video player first i'm going to change the layout type to relative layout start tag is relative layout and in tag also be relative layout right now i'm going to change this background color of this main layout type to do that android colon background and we can give the color code here i am going to use dark color so with hashtag zero 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 okay now this is dark color now we have to add the video view of youtube video player if you type youtube you can get suggest by android studio this is view, and you can give with as match parent and eight as wrap content right now you have to align this layout component to center of this main layout to do that you can drag and drop to center or you can use android colon layout underscore center vertical as true right now we have to give an id for this youtube player view we can use android colon id equals add plus id slash okay this is my id for our youtube player view now we are all done with design path now go to code and go to course all thing now open your video player class now we have to 
change this extent item mass youtube base activity now we have to implement this class with youtube player dot on initialize listener right after that click all plus enter and click implement methods and select this on initialize success and on initialization failure okay now we have to create a variable for this video player view in video player class youtube player view and i'm going to give variable name as m player okay now on create method m player equals inside bracket youtube player view and find view by id dot id dot our id for the video view is video view yt okay now we need the api key from google to play a youtube video go to your browser and search for google cloud console and visit to visit to google cloud console now you have to create a new project or select the current project here i'm going to create a new one i'm going to give name as youtube player and create now we have to enable youtube support to do that click this menu and api and services and select library search youtube here and select youtube data api and click enable it it will take a while now we have to get our api key to do that click menu again and api and services and click credential and click create select api key and copy this one now go back to your project create a new variable for store our api key string key equals double quotation semicolon mint paste it here okay now we have to store our video id in a new variable string id i am going to get a random video id here i'm going to get this one you can first copy link and see the link and you can detect this is an id or if you sharing a video click share and you can see this is an id now we have to initialize m player with our api key m player dot initialize api key is this one called a key now current context my context is this now follow this on initialization success method code with me if look at this boolean call as b i'm going to rename that as was restored okay now we check was restored not equals with true or we can sim simplify like this if not was restored you can see some variable here called youtube player in this if statement 
YouTube player. Remember, not this one, a player. It is this one. YouTube player dot video. Now we have to give our video ID. This is our video ID. Okay. Now YouTube player dot play. Now don't forget to add permissions to use internet access in your manifest file. Users permissions Android dot permissions dot internet edit. Okay. I wish these codes will work with you fine. Thank you.